Or is this is this full time MMA now? Uh, I love full time MMA right now. Yo, ah. the thing goes and the poop 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 boom. Back to the daily grind. Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and hook your boy up with a like if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Left hook Larry, the UFC's middleweight champion, my dude, Michael Bispeak's coming out and he's responding to my other dude, Jorge Masvidal's comments and I'm saying, motherfucking, let you go, what the fuck, what you talking about? <laughs> oh, fucking... It's free smoke, free smoke shots, the thing's going scrat. Michael Bisping is responding. If you remember, Jorge Masvidal was not too happy with Michael Bisping ripping up the Cuban flag during Yoel Romero's fight and mocking Yoel Romero during his fight versus Robert Whitaker. You know, he said, that's the number one hoe I need to slap talking about Michael Bisping. And Michael Bisping's responding. Because if you, you know, Jorge Masvidal did used to fight at 155 pounds. Now he fights at 170 pounds in the welterweight division. Jorge Masvidal is one of the most experienced fighters in the game, no matter the age. He's, I don't know what he's, 31, 29, somewhere around there. But Jorge Masvidal, if you don't know his history, he came all the way up to professional fighting from Kimbo Backyard Fights. I'm talking 10 years ago, high school type shit. When I was in high school, Jorge Masvidal... I didn't even know it until I was a UFC fan. Like, this is that dude? He he was fighting. He's been fighting bigger dudes since back then. He's fought in Strike Force. He's fought in Bulldog. He's fought all around the world. Jorge Masvidal got hands out of this world. And motherfucking, he's not too happy with Michael Bisping's antics. But Michael Bisping is like, yo, little man, because you know Michael Bisping, he does fight at 185 pounds. He, you know, he's saying... He's pretty much saying stay in your lane, but this is what Michael Bisping had to say in response to Jorge Masvidal saying he's the number one hoe that needs to be slapped. He said, I couldn't care less. Get a fucking grip, you fucking lunatics. Hey Masvidal, you want to come slap me on sight? Come give it a try, you little bitch. Scrap! God damn! Woo! Damn, hey, both of these guys fight at UFC 217, man. One of these fights, or both of these fights, are in jeopardy. They better keep these guys away from each other because they get into a real fight backstage. Who knows what's going to happen? Are they still going to be able to fight? They're going to have to keep these guys. Hopefully, they don't book the same hotel because, man, this is a, this shit is, I don't, this ain't just no fucking fake beef, man. You know Michael Bisping, he's the type, we've seen him, and it's, I mean, not, not to just call it, you know, I'm just calling it how it is. I've, we've seen Michael Bisping in public when he's face-to-face -face with some dudes that he thinks are calling him out, specifically like that little Eddie Bravo incident not too long ago. You know, he was ready to put a man on deck versus Eddie Bravo, and it was kind of like, come on, man, Eddie Bravo's a little smaller than you, but at the same time, that's left hook Larry man on deck. Now, would he do the same shit to Brock Lesnar? Who knows? But Jorge Masvidal is a lot closer to Eddie Bravo than Brock Lesnar, so they better be careful when they see each other backstage because who knows what's going to happen. But I can't wait to see both of their fights. Both of these guys are two of my favorite fighters. Hopefully, they don't do anything crazy and, you know, get fucking banned or suspended or fight canceled. None of that shit because I don't want to see that shit happen to these. Michael Bisping's at the pinnacle of his career. Jorge Masvidal, you could say that as well for him, man. He just got a, he was just fighting for a title fight, uh, fight against Damian Maya not too long ago. And he did very well versus Damian Maya. Damian Maya wasn't able to submit Jorge Masvidal. Damian Maya took more damage than Jorge Masvidal. Off, but he did control Jorge Masvidal, but oh well. Jorge Masvidal's getting to fight another top five contender in Steven Wonderboy Thompson. So both of these guys are at the pinnacle, the pinnacle of their career. Hopefully it doesn't get ruined because, you know, it's hashtag host slap season. So it is what it is. Let the hitters know what the fuck you type out in the comments. I'm out. My dad knew exactly when and where he was going to die. He was told by a judge. <laughs>